the cozy-ish corner. Today I will be discussing the British dessert that I tried for this video. This video will feature a special collaboration with one of my fellow classmates, Casey Riddell. The place that we went to try this dessert was called the Mulberry Pub, and the dessert that we tried was called the Apples and Pears Crumble with Custard. Now I will say that I'm not entirely sure if this is a classic British dessert, but it was the only thing on the menu that I didn't recognize, so that's what we went for. So let's get right into it, shall we? I really don't have much to say about this dessert, and I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. It was pretty good, but it wasn't the best, you know? There were basically three main parts to the dessert. You had the apples that were soft and mushy, like the apple and pear mixture. And then you had the crumble part, which was delish. And then you had the custard on top. Individually, all the ingredients were pretty good, but together they were great. One thing I kind of learned about myself is that I'm not much of a warm dessert kind of girl, you know? And this was definitely a warm dessert. Almost a little too warm. If you got in too deep to the apples, you burnt your tongue. So even though I'm not sure if it's a real British classic dessert, I'm still stepping outside of my comfort zone, so... And now, let's consult Casey and see what she thought of the dessert. I didn't like it very much because I don't really like warm desserts. It's too hot. Um, I think that's unnatural. Desserts should be cold. But if they had slapped some ice cream in there with it, I probably would have liked it. And there was a mango one that I think did have ice cream. Maybe I'll go back and try that one. But the apple dessert, um, not exactly my thing. So, well, maybe Allie had a better time with it than I did. But, um, I would not... I would not get it again. Overall, it was a pretty good dessert. I'm not sure if I would ever get it again, but that's because it wasn't really right up my street, you know? It was only about six pounds and some change, which really isn't that bad because we actually shared it with four people total. So there's plenty to go around. I would say it's definitely worth trying once. So I think my rating would probably be maybe like a 6.5 out of 10. I don't know, maybe a seven. I think it was definitely pretty good if you're into apple-y desserts that are warm <laughs> and that crumble was, so yeah, like a seven out of 10. Very good price for as much as you get out of it. So I think that is about it for the dessert. Next week, I'll be trying a classic British tea. If you would like to see more of Casey's face, make sure you go and subscribe to her channel. It is UCase, I will include links down below. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you'd like to, make sure you subscribe to my channel and leave a comment down below, but only nice ones. So yeah, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!